Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to help you play smarter by actually guessing where your opponent is going to hit next. Now, this video is courtesy of Matt Lynn on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I have put his link in the description below. All right, so we've got Stanford versus UCLA. Let's watch this point in its entirety, and then we'll diagram it. Now, before we analyze this, make sure you hit the like button and check to see that you've subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell. So you can definitely see how the baseliner, the UCLA player, turned defense into offense here. So let's get right to the action. And it's this situation right here. So I want you to look at this positioning on the court. You've got the Stanford player, Geller, and Axel here is just going to crush this ball. It's like very obvious that he's going to be hitting a very strong ball. He's going to be hitting a forcing shot, basically trying to win the point, hit a winner or force an error. And we've got Evan Jew over here and he is receiving and he's, he's basically defensive right now. So he's got to play great defense in order to be able to win this point. When you are in this situation, you have to empathize, meaning put yourself in the opponent's shoes and you have to figure, look, He's not going to hit the ball right down the middle of the court. So it is in your best interest to not stay in the middle, but rather guess to one side or the other. You see, juniors and adults make this mistake all the time. They hit a weak ball. The opponent is inside the court. They're going to blast the ball to one of the corners. And the baseliner stays in the middle thinking, well, I'll wait to see where the ball goes and then I'll chase it down. At the higher levels, you just aren't going to be able to do that. You're going to have to guess. I want to help you understand this, that it is in your best interest to not wait in the middle, but actually kind of like in soccer where the, where the keeper will actually guess on a penalty kick. You have to go to one side or the other before the opponent hits. And let's check it out. Let's look at UCLA over here. Watch how he starts moving to his left. He starts moving, and he's already moving in the direction that he thinks the ball is going to go. Now, it's pretty smart because he actually is guessing that the ball is going to go to his backhand. And that's a good guess. At the higher levels, you might think, you know what? Maybe they're going to pick on my backhand. So it might be a good thing to, to guess to the backhand. But you want to leave as late as possible so that your opponent's mind has already been made up. He might be looking out at the corner of his eye going, you know, where's he going? Where's he going? So you got to wait as long as you can. And then before they hit, you start moving. When they've decided where they're going to hit, their brain is executing. You start guessing. And guess what? He guesses the correct direction. And then he blasts it up the line. Absolutely love the shot that he hits. I mean, it's a little lucky, right? He guessed the correct direction. Maybe it's not luck. Maybe he created his own luck and he, and he knew not to wait in the middle. If he waits in the middle, he's going to be wrong basically every time. But if he guesses, he'll be right 50% of the time. And that's great. And then he ends up winning the point. Let's watch this point two or three times in a row and just ask yourself, if you were in that situation, the situation that Evan was in, would you have guessed or would you have waited in the middle to see where your opponent was going to hit? So the next time you hit a weak ball that your opponent's going to come in and crush, guess which way they're going to hit it. And if you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.